turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rocking if I Good morning and welcome to Vietnam We're in Hanoi um, And it's very sticky and hot here We've had quite a few days off vlogging, nearly two weeks um, So we've done a bit that we haven't recorded Just because we've been doing something exciting behind the scenes Which we'll uh, tell you about later <laughs> Maybe a late day actually, we're not quite finished but today we're just going to walk around the old quarter and explore and see what we can find. Walking down the streets of Hanoi is really noisy. Every single street is noisy and busy, full of motorbikes. This is one of the quieter ones. Um, I know it's actually quite quiet just to dispel what I said, but generally it's really noisy. Uh, it's the capital city, it's the second biggest city in Vietnam, so it's just a full all day, all night noise. So our first stop is Hoa Lo Prison, which is an old prison from, I think the Vietnam War, and maybe even before, um, we'll find out when we go in, but it's one of the tourist attractions here in Hanoi, and um, we don't know anything about it, so uh, you can learn with us. colonials back in the late 1800s and um, to put Vietnamese prisoners, uh, rebels, we think they were patriots uh, just trying to free their country and it says some of them came on to be quite high ranking members of the Vietnamese Communist Party as well and then after the, the French had left I guess it was then used by the Vietnamese to imprison the Americans and uh, it's been used a lot during the years. Apparently in this prison, the French tortured the Vietnamese um, quite badly. They were made to like go to the toilet on the spa, they had edema, they were all puffed up and just generally horrible conditions. Um, so I think the Vietnamese don't like the French very much still. Um, but apparently the Vietnamese had the Americans in here and didn't torture the Americans. Um, and they were really, really nice to them, so I guess who knows the truth to be honest. <laughs> Claire's just found out that Senator John McCain from America was actually held in prison here um, and according to the guidebook, guidebook he was treated very very well and given like, lots of medical care. This prison used to be a lot bigger than it is now, it's just a few, well one building left and the rest is now a modern skyscraper but they've left it in place as a, a memorial, I guess in a museum. Halfway through the building is the obligatory gift shop, profiting on misery. Um, of the prisoners on death row. So it was a bit of an education walking around this prison. Um, didn't really know the French were here, to be honest, which is weird because they're staying in a French colonial town, so it makes sense. But they um, they tortured everybody and were quite brutal by the sound of it, and were known as criminals by the Vietnamese. Um, and then the other side of the coin is when the American pilots were kept here, they were treated really, really well by the Vietnamese and given pool tables and volleyball courts and stuff. And yeah, actually, only like rubber babies and Okay. So 27 people were involved in that, and uh, they shot down 4,000 planes. So 
um, out of that 4,000 hundreds of soldiers that they must have killed and captured, only 27 of them were involved in the whole Christmas and the basketball and the, uh, the games and things. Okay. And they said they, they knew it was for propaganda reasons, but they just enjoyed it as they could because this, you know they knew that other people were suffering and they heard about torture as well, but um, there's only so much you can do, so they just enjoyed the time together that they had. Right. There you go. It's hard to know what's true and what isn't when you're reading all the signs because of obviously the bias, but still it's um, definitely good to come here and see it. So now we're going to head down towards the lake um, and go and see the temple on the lake and then we're going to try and get the 3 o'clock water puppet theatre show. Um, apparently it gets booked up quite quickly so we'll see if we can get tickets before we head into the temple. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit weird but really cool the water puppet theatre so we'll, uh, we'll go and have a laugh. Walking down the street and like every shop is a dodgy electronic shop selling TVs from the 1990s, like big square ones, all the way to 4K ones now with the brands like scratched out of them. Karaoke microphones. <laughs> Made and stuff. Either they're filming for 28 Days Later Hanoi or something's going on here because all of the roads are closed and it's pedestrianised and empty. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice, it's really nice. Now you can walk down the street without taking your life into your hands. How often can you stand on an intersection in the city centre, capital city centre, in Vietnam and not have to worry about dying? In the centre of Hanoi you have this lake um, with a couple of temples in it so you have this tiny one just over here um, and then you have the one that we're going to which is kind of the other end of the lake um, with a, a red wooden bridge that goes across to us so we're going to go and explore that one now. So we just went to the Water Puppet Theatre ticket office um, and it's fully booked today so we bought our tickets for tomorrow at uh, 4 10 pm, so 100,000 dong each, which is like £3.20, so I don't know, $4. Um, so it's actually really good and quirky though. So now we're just heading across the street and we're going to this temple, um, which looks really, really busy, but it is a weekend here, so it's not really surprising. Thirty thousand dong each to get into this temple, um, and it's under construction. But they don't tell you until you're on the island. Wish that I could be a little clever, find the words to tell you how I'm feeling. Let's take this walk together We're together Tell me I'm not dreaming Wait for me Just take a look around you Can you see? I'm happy So it's a very short and sweet experience, the temple. You just walk over the bridge, walk around it and have a look inside. It's just a um, prayer station, I guess. It's very pretty though. Um, it's 30,000 dong per person to get in, so it's quite cheap, um, but it literally takes five minutes to get around it, um, but it's just a way to pass the time on the lake. So this is Hanoi. 
Illinois Cathedral. Um, really, really old. It's not gothic, I don't really know what style it is, but it's quite a old stone building. And seems to be loads of groups of people just having photographs taken here. Some of their graduation photos or something. Um, it's a nice building. Our hotel's actually literally just next to it, so we see it every morning. Um, but it's cool. So we went back to the hotel for a bit and then ended up staying in there for quite a few hours. Um, so we just popped out now just to get some food. Um, so we're going to wander around these little back streets and see what we can find. Because the food here varies greatly in price from like 50,000 dong to 300,000 dong for fried rice. We just ate some buncha, which is a local Hanoi dish of meat and vegetables and noodles and like a broth. And at a weird coincidence, it happens to be the restaurant that Barack Obama ate at um, when he came a few years ago, apparently. Um, we had no idea, just pure chance, and pure chance we managed to get a table, because apparently it's usually absolutely rammed, which it was, but... Um, so yeah, it was alright, it was quite nice. Like, 160,000 for the two of us, including the beers. Um, so really good. Okay, we're just heading back along these really busy crowded streets in Glen and he got scared by a sign. Uh, and uh, we're just gonna get some stuff from the shop and head back to our hotel. It's like right on my shoulder. <laughs> Life flash before my eyes. Hanoi streets are really, really busy and bustling at night just with people, like motorbikes, loads of street cafes and restaurants. Um, and it's like, it's just alive, it's an awesome city, especially in this old quarter where the streets are really narrow. It gives you an incredible atmosphere. And just while we remember, we got asked a question by um, one of our young fans, Zane, from Shout London. <laughs> Um, and he asks, where do we get our laundry done when we're travelling? Well, the answer is we come down little side streets like this and find signs like that. And then we just take all of our laundry in, in a big bag, they weigh it and we pay and then the next day we go and collect it. Um, and hope that it comes back clean and not absolutely destroyed. So far we've been lucky um, and it's come back smelling beautiful. So there you go Zane, you just basically go for a wander down some back alleys and give it to a stranger. <laughs> So we're pretty much back at our hotel and we're going to say goodnight. Um, it's been a short vlog today but just a little walk around the streets of Hanoi just um, to kind of start us off vlogging again. Um, so we're going to try and do it now a lot more regularly. Um, but yeah, so good night. Thanks for watching um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.